Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the different type of glues that I use in order to put the sole onto the shoe. So I'm gonna be talking about three different glues that I use in no particular order. The last one though is the one that I use mostly, but for the first one, what we got is weld glue. It's very basic, very simple. I get this at Walmart. You get little small cans. I got these all over the place. And I mainly use this whenever I'm out of the other glue that I do use. So this is very nice, very easy. You got a small can, it's about $7.99 if I'm correct. And you got this small can. What it is, is just contact cement. Now the thing with this is I don't think it's as tacky as the other glues that I use. So you might have to use a little bit more. I'm not too sure with other materials, but for leather wise, you sometimes have to use a lot more than this. It's very yellowy, very tinty. So if you're gluing on like ice soles or something like that where you can see through it, I don't recommend this because this is yellow. Your soles are gonna look yellow. But for the most part, if you're in a little crunch and you have a Walmart right by you, I recommend getting this. Every once in a while, if I run out of glue and I'm still waiting for the glue to ship to my place because they only do ground shipping for the glue and say that I have to finish some shoes, then I will use this. But I only use this at the very last, you know, if I really need it. But for the most part, I just kind of have this around as insurance and then I use it when I need it. If you're interested in making shoes for yourself, make sure to check out my online shoe making course, 100% online down, links in the description. You get to learn how to make your own pair of shoes. So if you ever wondered on how to make your own pair of shoes, check it out, links in the description. Super cheap price for what you get, all the materials there. It's all videos from start to finish. You get to learn how to make patterns, cut out patterns, make your own shoes, stitch it all together, put the sole on, you got your own shoe. So check that out, link in the description. So my second pick is barge cement. I think everybody knows about this. Very simple. You got this big old canister. It's a quart if I'm correct, 32 ounces. So what it is, is you got the little brush that it comes with. As you can see, it's very yellow as well as the other one. It has a tint to it. Now you got a lot of glue in here for a good price. You get bigger ones, you get smaller ones. I really like this just because of how tacky it gets once it's dried. So as you can see, it's pretty thick for the most part. You have this metal screw on it and it comes with a brush. Now the one that I showed you before doesn't come with a brush. It just has a little top on it. But this, it comes with a brush. Barge cement, I get this off of Amazon. And as you can see, the top is all a little messed up. Now when I got it, it exploded in the packaging. So that's, I guess, one thing you gotta worry about is sometimes that will happen, but you get your money back, so it's not too bad of a problem. But barge cement, what would I say about this? Well, it's yellow, it's tinted, so if you're using icy soles, I don't recommend this. But if you're just putting on normal Jordan soles or any other sole, I recommend this. This is very good, very nice. I've used it in all my other customs as well. If I'm using it, sometimes I'll use a heat gun to get a little bit more tackier, just to heat it up a little bit. Not all the time, but sometimes I will do that because it'll get it where it when you touch it, it kind of like sticks a little bit. So once you get another piece and you stick them both together, it works perfect. Now the one thing if you don't know about contact cement, you have to actually glue one piece and then let it dry. Glue the other piece, let it dry whether it's the sole and the upper or whether it's a piece of leather and leather or whatever materials you're using. What you have to do is you have to glue each piece, let it dry for 30 minutes or so. Then you could stick it together and it pretty much won't go anywhere. But that's the thing, you can't just, you know, you can't just like glue it to something and then you want to stick it and it'll fall off because it's not tacky. So you got to glue one thing, got to glue the other thing. Then after 30 minutes of drying, you could stick it together and it will be nice and tacky. So that's one thing that you got to know about contact cement. But this is, this is always very reliable. If I have some, I will use this for the most part. This is my favorite, I would say, for soles that aren't clear and also for some other leathers just because it's very tacky for the most part what I have found. Now there's other type of barge cements as well. I have them like laying around here and you get a little tube at Walmart, stuff like that. Now the local stores that I shop at don't carry this so I have to get it on the internet. I get it from Amazon so I'll have the link down in the description to all this stuff if I have them. But for the most part, this would be my second pick to first pick. Now the first and second pick is tied. I'll show you the next glue after this and they'll be tied. But for the most part, if I'm not using clear soles or anything, then I will use this just because it's so great at being like tacky and it sticks very well. Now here's the last one, Rhenia, if I'm correct. This is what it looks like. 
Now with this, you also have the screw on the top. This is plastic, that one is metal for the screw on the top. And you got a little bit bigger of a brush. So if you could see that, now it's all kind of dried up on the top and this is pretty much empty. So, I mean, as you can see, I have used all of this. I have also used all of this and that is why I have this laying around. I'm waiting on the glue. It's gonna come in in a day or two, so I'll be using that. I used the last of this on my live stream yesterday, so check that out if you haven't. Now, what would I say about this is, first of all, it's pretty much clear, so that's really nice. If you have icy sole stuff like that, you're gonna wanna use this so it doesn't tint the bottom, it doesn't make that underlining like a different color, so that's what I recommend with this. Now, with this glue, I don't think it's as tacky as barge. So you got this glue, which is, I still recommend, they're the same, they're as good as each other. But with this, it's clear. And the nice thing about clear, as I said, is you can put the icy soles on and you aren't worried about the dye underneath that yellowish to come through. So if I pull it out, for the most part, it looks yellow when it's dried, but it's actually not. And if I, I can't pull it out right now, but this is what I would recommend just because normally this is clear. Now this is all empty, so I can't really show you that. But why I like this so well is because it pretty much does the same thing as barge. It's pretty much the same thing. It's contact cement you put on each side of the leather and you stick it together. Now I don't think it's as tacky as barge, but it still sticks as well. Now psychologically, I kind of like how the, the barge, when you, when you touch it, it's a little sticky. This, it doesn't do that, so when you touch the glue, it doesn't really, it doesn't really make it tacky, it doesn't really make it sticky, but when you put the pieces together, it glues just as well, just as fine. Now, with using this, this is what I've been using for the past month, and you know, I've found lots of use out of it. I really like it. I might be going back to barge. I'm not too sure yet. Now I ordered more of this, but I might be using barge later on as well just to see the differences in it. But I've had lots of experience with all of these. So you got you got Rhenia, then you got barge, then you got Weldwood. Now this you get at Walmart. I would say it's a, a six out of ten, seven out of ten. These both. I would say this is an eight and a half just because it's not um, clear, it's yellow. And then this is a nine out of 10. You can't get 10 out of 10. There's no perfect glue out there. So these are as good as you could get. These are the two that I recommend. I feel like they're on the same playing field, the same level. Now, as I said, this is a little yellowish. So if you got icy soles, don't use this. You wanna use this. Now, if you're just using just normal stuff, you aren't worried about icy soles, I'd probably recommend this barge. I don't recommend this unless you're just, you know, you need it at that moment and you can't get this in any stores. For example, for me, none of the stores around here carry these two products. So I have to go to Walmart and get this. But for the most part, this is what I recommend. I recommend these both. As I said, for icy soles, for just anything useful. I also wanted to share this real quick. So as you can see, the glue is clear. There's no yellow tint and that's because I use the Rainia. Now barge would have a yellow tint. It would literally be this color right here. But as you can see, there's no there's no tint or anything on it. It's just clear dried glue. So it kind of, you know, it makes more sense once you see it and this is what it is. This is the last of the glue. I mean, it's all empty. And that's what I would say with that. You know, it's clear as I've mentioned it multiple times. The nice thing as well, they each got the same brush. I would say this brush is a little better just because it's smaller. But if you're only doing soles, if you only do resoles, then this one is a lot better. So if you're just a person that just resoles, like restore shoes, probably go with this. If you're hand making shoes, go with this. And those are pretty much my recommendations. They're all over the place, but for the most part, I think they're both the same. Everyone's been asking me like, what's the difference? I've been getting lots of questions actually lately about these. So I wanted to make a video about this, give you a little bit of information on what these are. But as you can see, you got three glues and they are all just as good. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what glue you use at home. These are the three glues that I recommend, but thanks for watching. Check out my online shoemaking course. Check out my Facebook group. I got everything, links in the description. Got the merch, go cop yourself some. It helps out the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.